photos de leur famille, de leur mère. We want to render homage to the women who worked in the factories, textile factories of Montreal. Very soon, residents and visitors of saint simon apotre Park and the Chabanel neighborhoods will be able to admire a new mural that will pay tribute to many immigrant women who worked for years in Montreal's textile factories. I think that we have to give the voice to the women that were always in the background. Uh, they were key to the community um, uh, progressing. Uh, if we have professionals in our communities, immigrant communities, it's because these immigrant women worked so very hard without ever complaining, without ever uh, demanding. And they're very humble. And so I think that they deserve something grand to walk on a red carpet and to have a statue in their honor, because that is the ultimate goal. Margarita Morsella was clearly happy and proud to see another face of her Women of Steel project taking shape. We met her on September 15th, the day artists Nicole Boyce and Elenka were about to start working on the mural. They actually br brought us uh, all the things which were uh, important for them, and uh, we, we included them into uh, the mural. A mural created with a strong input from the same women it intends to honor, who shared their stories. They brought with them objects and tools from years past of working in factories, where they often made little money. Together with Elenka, they created a collage that inspired the final version of the mural. We went back 10 days later, and the work on the mural is quickly advancing before the official presentation on October 18th. The mural is just part of a bigger project to honor grandmothers, mothers, aunts, sisters, or even neighbors, women of steel who left their native country to provide for their family and who greatly contributed to our history and our economy. To carry out a long-term project, there is a committee of women and organizations, like the Centre de Femmes Solidaires et Engagées, working together on different initiatives to honor the women of steel. Vera Rosati, director of Inca CGL in Montreal, is also part of the committee, and working daily with many of these women knows firsthand how much they deserve to be recognized for their contribution to the city of Montreal. Everyone is super excited. I think they're just so proud that they're finally Finally, being the, the recognized as as women who contributed, maybe even more than men. I shouldn't say maybe they did contribute more than men. So they're they're very very happy, excited. In Montreal, Teresa Romano, Omni News.